Nigeria's primary health care system has relied heavily on donor funding in the last one and a half decade since the federal government signed an agreement with the Global Alliance for Vaccine and Immunization, Gavi, in 2001. However, when Gavi announced its plans to withdraw its funding two years ago, the debate about how to sustain routine immunization in Nigeria became a major concern. Nevertheless, Gavi's decision to extend its immunization funding till 2028 has brought some relief to the government. Gavi is investing $1 billion for immunization in the next one decade, just as the federal government is also expected to contribute $2 billion as counterpart funding for this purpose. This conference in Abuja is therefore organized to develop an operational strategy for routine immunization in the next one decade. We are really working very hard to ensure that Gavi's partnership and the board approved decision in terms of additional investments in, in vaccines and immunization in Nigeria will go along and, and uh, uh, will be put on the right track. And, and what the board has really told us that we have to uh, uh, select the states uh, that are the poorest uh, with the lowest coverage in immunization and make sure that the investments go in. Obviously, a major important condition is to make sure that whenever vaccines are introduced, are, then Nigeria is able to sustain them. The NCS retreat is not about the three million US dollars. The question is, how do we implement all the things that we have articulated in the NCS document in a way that ensures that when we leave this stage, that future generations will not come back and be having conversations about primary health care revitalization. According to the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, it will require $3 billion to buy vaccines in the next 10 years to enable it to reach its target of 84% immunization coverage by the year 2028. With the Global Alliance for Vaccine and Immunization investing $1 billion for this purpose, it is hoped that the federal and state governments will play their part in this counterpart funding arrangement by contributing the remaining $2 billion that is required.